Hey everyone, Glenn Andrews here from GlennAndrews.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload and install your own WordPress platform on, through your own hosting account. Now, you can use HostGator, you can use Bluehost, JustHost, they're basically all the same. You might save a buck or two here and there. But I have two uh, affiliate links on this web page, on my web page. Uh, in the right hand column there you'll see one from Gatorhost, one from Bluehost. There's not much difference between them all. The portals in the hosting accounts are all basically the same. Um, you can get a huge discount uh, if you go through one of my links there whether it's HostGator or Bluehost either or. And if you'd rather use just Host, that's fine also. Okay so first thing we're gonna do is let's go to HostGator and set this up. Okay, so let's click the Get Started button now. And it'll give us a choice of the plans we're going to be using. <clears throat> now, if you're just using a single domain, you can probably go with the Hatchling uh, plan here. The Baby plan lets you gives you unlimited domains. So that's the one I would use. I'm only going to go for one year, especially if you're just starting. You want to make sure that, you know, Within a year, you'll be able to tell if you're gonna, if this is gonna be a viable um, something that you're really interested in. So, I go with one year. If you go through my link, you'll get more than a 20% discount. I think it's 3.96 a month for the first year, and then just be aware that after the first year, it will go up to the regular prices. Okay. All right. So here, you're gonna enter your domain name. Whatever domain name you want to use, so it's yourdomain.com, .net, .org, whatever you want to use, and they'll tell you if the domain's available or not. If you already have uh, your domain, you'd enter it here. So let's say you have it hosted with uh, GoDaddy or another domain hosting site. You'll still enter it here so they can put it into your hosting account, and then what you would do is grab the DNS numbers from your from GoDaddy or whoever hosting your domain and you'll bring it over here and, and enter enter it into your hosting account so it points directly to your domain name okay so you can enter a username here whatever you want it to be it tells you exactly what characters and all that it needs to have uh, security pin so this is what you're going to use to log in to your hosting account. So make sure you keep this safe somewhere and available. So when you log back in, you'll have that. And then this is all straightforward. Just enter your billing information. Come down here. I uncheck all this stuff. Uh, personally, you don't need any of it. Um, if you want a uh, site backup, daily backup to a cloud, you can do that. But I don't worry about it. You come down here, you got a year, $114.72 for a year, okay? Those have a money back guarantee here for 45 days if you choose to opt out. And then you just go ahead and check out. Then after you check out, you're going to want to check your email. It's going to have your login details and your receipt and all that stuff. You're going to come back to HostGator. And you're just going to log in with your login details, with the username and password that you just entered into this uh, into this form here. So once you log in, this is what you're going to come up against here. You're going to see this, and it's the same with all the other uh, Just Host, Bluehost. If you're using any of those, go to Hosting. This is brings you to your your back office portal. And you're going to click on Get Started with WordPress. Okay. Over here in the left-hand column, you'll see WordPress. We'll click on that. And then you're going to come over here and click on Install WordPress right here. It should have your domain name right down here. So you'll click on that, enter it. You won't put anything over here. Add your email in the admin email section your blog title whatever the name or whatever your blog is going to be about you can put the title here and you don't have to get too specific if you don't want to right now you can always change this later in the back office of your WordPress blog 
Enter the admin username. This could be your name, your full name, no spaces. And then enter your first name, and last name, and then click install WordPress. Okay, after you install this WordPress, it may take a minute or so for it to install. Uh, it'll give you your login details once you install WordPress. Your login details will look like I'll show you here in a second. If we go to logins, it's going to take you to a page just like this where you enter your username and your password. Okay? And then once you click on that, it'll take you to your back office of WordPress, in which will look like this. You won't it won't be as crowded as this since I have a lot of plugins here, but uh, you'll go to appearance, click on themes, and then you're going to have a bunch of th three or four themes installed with WordPress. Okay, they're free themes that come with WordPress 2015. What you want to do is add your own premium theme, uh, depending upon you know what type of business you're starting or if it's just a personal blog. Uh, you can stick with 20. 2015 or you can get your own premium blog or uh, theme. There are a few other things that you're going to need to do uh, before you get started and it has to do with permalinks and plugins, the plugins that you definitely want to use for your SEO and all that stuff and you definitely want to change your permalink. So check out a couple of my other WordPress setup tutorials and that'll get you going and get everything set up properly for you so you don't have to come back later and change everything. If you have any questions about this, uh, just leave them below this video and I'd be happy to help you out and get you started on the right foot. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.